Hi, not all burger joints were created equal. With 20 mouth-watering burgers available, all cooked to order using fresh, premium quality ingredients, we're pretty sure you love every last bite. We're located at 320 Packington Street in Newtown, 51 Moorable Street in Geelong, and for information on the menu, check out burgerinc.com. So come on in, we'd love to feed you. In their forward line, there's a throw in. Gee, got a lot of air, that throw. Oh yeah. And Smith took the ball out of the ruck, was tackled straight away, but no free kick. Play on, scramby play, a right foot kick by Wallace. It's actually gone through, but was touched on the way through, and it'll be through for a, a minor score. So that takes Bow and heads on to 16 12, 108 to Motawari 3 9 27. On the Vision Australia scoreboard, Van der Kloosten comes in and finds Beggs. Out of side of the ground, he looks forward for Higgins. He's got Turner for company. Turner with the fist away. Ball at ground level. Picked up there by Powers. Been pretty good and he's got Hall that's run forward for him. Good kick. Will he play on? No, he won't. He goes back as he's held up by Finch. Hall now will look to kick to the top of the square. He's a very good team player. Has Damien Hall been since crossing from St. Joey's. Kick to the top of the square. Ball punched away from Flynn and Perry. Kicked off the ground there for Motawari by Smith, he'll come again, it's picked up by Herbison oh that's all class there by Mitchell Herbison, great goal well it was a great pick up, he took the bump he rode it well, and it's Webb against Brendan Smith, Webb gets a punch, goes forward, picked up now by Herbison, handball over to Hall Hall runs inside the 50 arc, right foot kick, it's a mongrel looking kick and got its right result and went through for a minor and that takes Bowen heads on to 17-13 115 to 3927 Motawari. Van der Kloester brings it in once again to Biggs. They've done that a couple of times and goes forward looking for Smith. Marks outside, just outside defensive 50. Wing position, out of side, looking for Higgins. He marks in front of uh, Turner. A good strong mark there. He's proven he can take a good grab. Higgins did in the second quarter when he kicked uh, Motawari's second goal. Brings it back into the middle and he finds Tennant. That's Dale. Dale Tennant now. He's going to bring it wide. He had a teammate working for him in Sweeney, but all he's done is put it in the hands of Zach Gubbins. Gubbins now looking forward. Looking there for, uh, looks like it was Flynn, can't take the mark, ball at ground level, punched on there by Tennant, there again is uh, uh, Hennessy, can't take the footy, or is it uh, in fact Dylan Holland, the first gamer, he's wrapped up, uh, uh, not, wait, a nice tackle there, Sweeney going nowhere, and uh, you've got a bit of a cheer too, there's a bit of a crowd sitting, the 18's boys sitting over there, there's a the ball up, tapped down by Barn Heads, ends up with Hoare, Hoare the handball to Herbison, Herbison left foot kick, into the deep, into the forward line for Bowen Heads. No one can take Mark. Power swoops on the ball. Handball's over to Flynn. Flynn doesn't know what to do with it. Gets it over to Wallace. Wallace with a right foot kick. Down towards the goal square. No one can take a mark. It's ended up with Sean Keating with a scrambly kick. Oh! <laughs> I started laughing before he kicked it because the ball went straight to our man Josh Ransom and he's done the kick over the head. But unfortunately went through for a behind. So that's 17-14, 116 Bowen Heads to 3-9-27. Begs with it again for the kick out nobody seems to want to man him up but it's really elementary now this result is beyond doubt ball uh, tenant can't pick it up picked up well there by cook's been pretty good levi turner's wrapped up in a good tackle umpire says play on herbison attacks it with sharp the first one of the youngsters from model worry wrapped up in a tackle is walker by herbison gee he's done some good work there mitch herbison and the umpire says give it to me out of sight of the ground we're going to look at the, the team player of the day and i was suggesting cook i reckon cook's just held the defense together nicely for bowen heads yeah it's been fantastic the only other one that i would have thought of is maybe Levi Turner, but I thought Cook's been very solid at their fullback. Walker there, wrapped up in a tackle by Hoare. Swinton picks it up though, goes back to Turner for Bowen Heads. He pushes off one and he pushes off two. Sharp was the second one. Goes in the middle looking for Cook, but he's also got Holland in there as well. Umpire says you can have a free kick downfield, but it's more across field. Holland takes it. Get a nice little kick there too. He's got a teammate working for him in Herbison. Herbison, plenty of the footy in these dying stages. Pumps the ball forward looking for Perry. Can't take the mark. Van der Kluster knocks it to ground. Gubbins at ground level. When he swing onto the left foot and kick a nice little goal. A nice little Rovers goal. He can't. Van der Kluster tracking it back to the line. Takes the defence mark. Yes, he gets a plays on quickly, gets his kick to the captain Finch, easily Motawari's best onto his left, looking for Razga Razga couldn't mark it but backs up gets his kick now, up towards half forward, looking in a, for a teammates and Sharp, there's uh, Sweeney, Sweeney ends up the clear kick on the left foot, looking for Daniel Tennant can't take the mark but taken over the back by Allingham Paul Allingham played on, got it back to Sweeney. Sweeney on the left, and it's faded across goal, and it's only through for a minor to take Motawari on to 3 
10, 28 to Barnhead, 17, 14, 116. Cook to bring the ball back into play. He's got Turner short, and he'll get Tennant to wrap him up and hold him up. Levi Turner probably in no hurry now, but they wouldn't mind a couple more goals. Bowen heads there, 17, 14, 116 to 3, 10, 28. A 100-point win would be nice for the headers today. As Webb takes a mark, half-back flank, he looks on the left foot to bring it inside, and he finds a young fella in his first game in Holland. He's been pretty impressive in this last quarter when he's had his chance. He puts the ball forward, looking for a teammate down there. It might have been Flynn. He knocks it down well for Gubbins. Gubbins has got Bobby Wallace working for him. Wallace now with a shot on goal across the body. Puts it through for a behind, just to the left. He's second behind of the day. 17-15, 1-17 on the Vision Australia scoreboard. Model Worry, 3-10, 28. That margin now, 89 points, Joffa Miles. Van der Klooster with the kick in. Comes to the grandstand side, half-back flank. No one can take a mark. Dylan Holland again. Got another possession. First oh. game, a terrible kick. In there, and ended up with a Barnett's play in Herbison. Herbison handball to Power. Power with a left foot kick in towards the goals and a mark there taken by Perry. It's not in the goal square, it's just in front of the points, uh, the gap between the point post and the goal post. So he'll be on a very, very acute angle. Uh, umpire Harrison putting him on that angle now. The bluff end of the ground on the outer side. And pick, uh, Alkington standing so as he can't run around. Josh but he Ransom. does now, two steps, does the hook back. I think he might have kicked this, and he has. And that's Perry's uh, second. And with our Burger Inc. Player of the Day from Barwon Heads with four goals for this afternoon, a dominant performance by number 10, Josh Ransom. Josh, congratulations. Firstly, your Burger Inc. Burger. Cheers, Fresh grill skills you can uh, pick up from either Packington Street in Newtown or uh, Maroubal Street in Geelong. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Mate, today a fantastic win, 95, point, 95 points over Motta Worry. You, you would never expect it to have come here and won by that margin. No, nah, no. Nah, I mean, Motta Worry, obviously, I'm only new to the, to the league and that, but um, they've been obviously... Been playing pretty good footy the uh, first few rounds and that, and you know we had a job to do today and come out there and you know build our, our team game to, to look forward to next week. Um, you know that'll be the test against the Ammo. So yeah, it's good good building. Josh, you've uh, joined Barn Heads from uh, I believe South Gambia in the uh, the Western uh, Border League. East Gambia, mate. Yeah, Western Border. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, probably your arch rival. I've probably yeah, mentioned him there. Mate, yeah. <laughs> East Gambia, uh, a tough comp. The Western Border League, not too dissimilar to the standard here. Yeah, or pretty a little bit similar. Um, Probably uh, it's a little bit sort of in and out it sort of thing here, a little bit free flowing from down home sort of thing. But um, yeah, I mean Justin, not too bad. But um, yeah, enjoying it. Now you missed the first couple of games. I think you had a suspension carried over, but uh, you found your feet pretty quickly. I think you now got 11 or 12 goals in your three games. Plenty of the footy through the midfield. You must really be enjoying being coached by a bloke like Mick Atkins. Yeah, I mean he's real, really disciplined, and um, you know, really good with the young blokes coming through and that. I and mean, we've, we've got a really young group here, and and um, yeah, I mean he's doing really well with us. Um, so, yeah. A 95 point win will count for nothing if you can't put in a strong performance against Ammo's next week at home. Uh, that's like I said before, you know, that'll be our test. Um, you know, we've we got to, you know, come, had a job to do today, but that's done. We've got to look forward to next week and, um, you know, try and do our best, and um, that'll show us where we're at. Lucas Murphy up forward today, kicked five goals. Must be nice to have a, a key target like himself, but also Lockie Flynn and Sean Keating. Oh, yeah, it's hey, go on, go very handy. Having, uh, having handy blokes up. Tall blokes up forward, um, you know, if the kick's good, good to him, you know, it makes it, you know, easy for him. But, um, yeah, it's uh, he's, Murph is a really good pickup for us. Um, he's been playing pretty good footy as well, so, yeah, pretty happy with him. And uh, some of the youngsters as well. Uh, had a couple of, uh, one debutant today, got plenty of the footy in Young Holland. Yeah, no, nah, good. Um, young Diz uh, played very well today. Um, he played played ones in our trial matches and that and uh, got his opportunity today and um, played very well. So, um, you know, I think he'll hold his spot well. Josh Ransom, our Burger Inc. Player of the Day. Congratulations. Best of luck next week against Amos. Thanks, mate. Cheers. It's been Josh Ransom. This has been the Burger Inc. Player of the Day. At Ellsworthy's Retrovision, we're more than just the best price. We'll give you expert advice with a huge range of big brand products. Locally owned and operated in Geelong, Ellsworthy's Retrovision will give you more every time. If it's a big screen TV you're after, or a top brand washer or fridge, we have the best range to choose from. Come into Ellsworthy's today at two big locations, Murrable Street, opposite Skill Stadium in Geelong, or Warren Ponds Homemaker Centre. Ellsworthy's Retrovision.